up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Your boy Dread is back, so I'm just making this video short, sweet, and to the point from my camera phone. Now, my thoughts on LeBron James, JaVale McGee, and Lance Stevenson joining the Los Angeles Lakers, all in a 24-hour time period. I swear, Magic Johnson must be like the reverse Thanos or something like that because he snapped his fingers and made three superstars appear. Well, first off, let me talk about LeBron James. LeBron James, D did what's best for him. I know he's getting a whole bunch of flack for, you know, making the move that he did. But, I mean, me personally, I'm a Lakers fan. And I can't say that I'm happy. I can't say that I'm upset. I can't say that I'm, I'm me personally, I'm shocked more than anything. I'm surprised. Am I surprised that he left the, you know, am I surprised he left Cleveland? No. I mean, because that situation was not good for him. But at the end of the day, LeBron James is going to make the decision that he wants to make because, one, he's a grown man. Two, this is basketball career, and he's going to do what's best for him. Three, he left because there's nothing left to work with anymore. It's like being the highest paid employee at your job and then, like, you know, not getting a promotion. It's like asking for that next promotion and you're not getting it. It's the same thing with a championship ring. And besides, he don't have Kyrie anymore. So, of course, you know, the thing is Kyrie has saved LeBron's bacon on more than one occasion. That's how they got that championship ring in 2016. So, I mean, it, like, it's like, why not? I mean, like, I mean, if you got other offers on the table, why not take it? And let's just face it. The Golden State Warriors are an unstoppable juggernaut. They got way too much firepower to be stopped by somebody, by a team that's only being carried by one person and a bench that's inconsistent or always injured. Kevin Love and uh, uh, um, Kyle Korver and J.R. Smith, you know, the whole nine yards, you know. Um, but it's going to be an interesting dynamic. But a part of me kind of didn't even really want this trade to happen anyway because it's going to go back to what everybody is saying about, oh, man, rings are bought in the NBA. They're not won. And you can't really argue too much with that. I mean, because at the end, but at the end of the day, you guys know as well as I do. Yes, basketball is entertainment, but at the end of the day, the NBA is a business. It is a business move. You got to do what's best for you. It's going to be an interesting dynamic, though, because, I mean, the, 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 the lineup right now, as it stands, is Lonzo Ball at point, LeBron at forward, Kyle Kuzma at forward. Um, let's see. Who else? Um, they probably will have – I don't know if they're going to have um, Brandon Ingram on there. They might have him. And then center – they might have Jamel McGee start. I'm not even sure, but that's what the potential lineup is right now. But now, as far as Lance Stevenson and Javale McGee, um, I'm kind of iffy on those moves because let's be honest. What has Lance Stevenson done lately? Lance Stevenson's best season was like 2014. The 2014 uh, season with um, when um, when which call was still with the Pacers when um, somebody uh, refreshed my memory. Uh, Paul George. Yeah, when Paul George still the pace, that's when he pretty much just had his best season. And he hasn't really done anything since then. The Lakers tried to get Paul George, but he's staying in um he's staying in OKC for the next three years, as far as I know. Um JaVale McGee, he just won a ring with Golden State. So it's like, why the hell would you move, you know, from a from your winning situation? But hey, I guess that's his decision too. I mean, but like I said, we're we're gonna we're we're gonna see how it works out. It's just it's just amazing to me how the power shifts can change in basketball so quickly. But I didn't anyway, I didn't really want to spend too much time on this. I want to know what you guys think about LeBron and the other recent trades going to um, you know, Los Angeles Lakers. He's it's LA Braun, not Lee Braun now. But anyway, you guys let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.